about three yards a day but i definitely definitely learned i need to upgrade my setup and what i mean by that i'm talking about new trimmers i'm talking about new zero turns i'm thinking about replacing this one and that one but yeah guys like tired of that one letting me down I'm tired of that one letting me down and then this one right here like it's so entry level like what I mean by entry level, like, guys, it's some, <laughs> I ain't gonna say it's some BS, but it'll get you through the job, but you working three, four times as hard. Like, seriously. And I just like the way other lawnmowers cut, because it's crazy. I had to get somebody else to cut my yard, but to me, it looks a lot better than what my lawnmower would do. Not what I would do, but the lawnmower. And what I mean by that, it took him probably like an hour to cut the yard. And it looks like he cut it for like three, four hours over and over and over. But yeah, like I was saying, my blower, the um, the button that cut it off, that's messing up. So I got to choke it and all of that every single time I want to uh, cut it off. I got to choke it. My Honda. Ain't nothing wrong with the Honda. That's working flawlessly. 
I wish I could knock on some wood right now. But everything else, guys, I'm having a problem out of. This right here, I think I need a new carburetor because if I'm not mashing the gas, it'll cut off. If I'm not mashing the throttle. And then, boom, you should know what happened here. Lost my spring. And the head came out. You know, burnt Miller head. A hole in the head. But a good tip somebody told me is... From now on, when I bump it to get more string, bump it in the grass. I never would think about it, and that's so small. We done some tree removal, I mean, some tree trimming jobs today. And we mowed four yards. We had five on the schedule, but we mowed four yards. And guys, I'm exhausted. And I just posted a video before this one, so please go check it out. It's me with this uh, 335E, and I went and cut a new client's yard very big yard so that's why i say i gotta i gotta get this one in the shop and get it back right but other than that guys i'm having a wonderful wonderful day right now it's probably like seven o'clock sun going down it's nice and cool i'm over there burning some trash y'all see it in the background i need to go to the store and get me some uh some batteries for that light right there so whenever i start unloading at night i can see but yeah and also, let me go ahead and give y'all a little run rundown. So, a lot of people don't know. The Jeep broke down on me. So, I had to go and get another vehicle. So, let me introduce y'all my 2017 Ford F-150 XL. And as you see, I done swapped a few things out. I done, um got tents not nothing serious you know a little something on the back got a strip across the front and we got some little skull the eyes light up blue at nighttime you know a few little things it's a it's a great little truck i'm using it for a work truck and personal that's why i don't like getting it too dirty and i'm not gonna do like i did with the jeep and put words on the side if anything i'm gonna get me a little removable magnet but yeah, it's been a great truck, guys. It run off flex fuel. So yeah, I'm saving a lot of money at the pump. Yes, it, you know, it burns a little bit faster, but it's worth it to me. It's, it's well worth it. But I'm loving the new truck because I got lots of space for stuff. And stay tuned. I'm finna install my new jack because this one right here, I ain't gonna say no names, but I ain't break it. But it's crooked and bent up. And I also need to get me a, a shovel rack, cause this right here gets the job done, guys. But <clears throat> I usually keep like three right here. Three, you know, shovels or rakes or whatever right here. But yeah, definitely gotta upgrade the setup. So please stay tuned for that. It's Joseph with Yardmasters. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. We're on the way to 2,000 subscribers. Please be a part of that.